We've been talking a lot about mineral deficiencies, especially magnesium, and especially how these things originate from our poor soil. Today, I wanna to talk about manganese, not magnesium, manganese, and show you these original lab research papers and how manganese impacts your testosterone. And what got me thinking about this was a book by Tim Ferriss and some of his articles where he said he had a manganese deficiency and so he did some supplements, especially Brazil nuts, and increased his manganese, which brought his testosterone from about 250 nanograms per deciliter to about 650, which is awesome and healthy. So let's look at the science. So this paper from 2007 in the Journal of Physiology is titled, Manganese Stimulates Luteinizing Hormone Releasing Hormone Secretion in Prepubertal Female Rats. And what did they find? Yeah, the title says it all. Manganese induces luteinizing hormone releasing hormone. What is luteinizing hormone releasing hormone? Well, in your brain, you've got these glands and when they're activated by manganese in this case, you, you can have this secretion of luteinizing hormone, which, impact, which goes into your blood and acts either on your ovaries or your testes. In this case, it was female rats. So, and that can, that can drive a release of testosterone. It can increase your testosterone. So let's look at one other paper. It's gonna be brief today. 2008, this is the Journal of Toxicolo Toxicological Sciences. The title of this paper is Acute Effect of Manganese on Hypothalamic Luteinizing Hormone Releasing Hormone Secretion in Adult Male Rats. All right, what's going on with this? Well, again, they say it is clear that manganese can acutely, transiently, induce luteinizing hormone releasing hormone secretion in adult male rats. Same thing. You get the secretion of this hormone, which goes into your blood, acts on your testes in this case, ups your testosterone. We suggest, they say, that the additional action of manganese to release GABA, which is gamma amino butyric acid, GABA, don't need to remember that, a luteinizing hormone releasing hormone inhibitor may ultimately contribute to suppressed reproductive function with high chronic levels of manganese. Now that's interesting. So they're saying a little bit of mang manganese or once in a while having some manganese can basically increase your testosterone by working through this luteinizing hormone. But if you have it all the time, it can cause this inhibition process and essentially lower your testosterone. Your body has a lot of these negative feedback mechanisms, these feedback mechanisms where if you have something going on for such a long time, your receptors go down or the, act the action of, you know, the testosterone stops being increased, especially with hormones like testosterone. So let's talk about, so I think the best way to increase testosterone naturally, if you're thinking about using or supplementing manganese, is to cycle it. You don't wanna just hammer it all the time or you're actually gonna lower it according to that paper, if you're a male. And I just wanna talk about phytic acid really fast because we've talked about this. I went through some nuts that have high levels of phytic acid, so go back and watch that video. Kidding, I've got the nuts listed here. So phytic acid is high in Brazil nuts at 1700, almonds at 1400, walnuts at about 1000, and hazelnuts between 600 and 1000. So those are the nuts that have the most phytic acid. You'll remember that phytic acid can grab these minerals, Mang manganese, magnesium, whatever, and make your body pass them, not allowing your body to utilize them. So these nuts can actually lower your manganese even if you're eating it, including Brazil nuts, Tim Ferriss. So manganese, what has high levels of manganese? Hazelnuts, they have about 78% of your daily value per ounce. Hazelnuts, but the problem is, is ha hazelnuts have high phytic acid. All right, pecans, 55% of your daily value. Pecans. That's a good source, manganese. You wanna supplement something? Pecans. They don't have high levels of phytic acid. Walnuts, 48%, but they have high levels of phytic acid. Macadamia nuts, 43%, those are good. Almonds, 32%, but they have high levels of phytic acid. You see, what I'm, you see where I'm going, how I'm thinking? Cashews are good, 23% of manganese. Pistachio, 17%, manganese, low phytic acid. You see, so, Hazelnuts, walnuts, and almonds are not a great source, including Brazil nuts especially because they have high levels of phytic acid. Now one final thing that's important to know is that manganese is a trace element. You don't want a lot of it. You don't want to supplement too much 
because your body only needs a small amount. Again, you want to focus, if you're trying to bring, bring your testosterone up, which is a healthy thing to do, focus on cycling the manganese supplements and use those nuts that have low phytic acid content.